Hi, I'm Jesse at the Bon Appetit Test Kitchen today to have a super secret conversation about Chris Morocco. Once again, we're putting Chris's super taster abilities to the test. This is Chef Moto Kichi Yukimura's Omo Rice from Kichi Kichi. I'm challenging Chris to recreate this dish with all the ingredients in just one day. He'll be able to taste it, touch it, and smell it, but at no point will he be able to see this dish. At the end of the day, we're gonna come back to see his final creation, and I'll be the judge. <laughs> um, it smelled like chicken soup. <laughs> Yeah, that's a first. Like the agita, you know, being created here because of just like the, the the sort of like the culinary production drama is is sort of palpable. Something like very soft. Whoa. The the flavor that sticks out is just this like really savory animal depth with just like this sort of like prickle of brightness to it. There's something so like fatty happening here. Like this sort of like, you know, kind of like gloss like reduction. What I just ate, it sort of had the consistency of like a braised squid. I mean, I don't know, I, like, does that even make sense? It doesn't really have like a super discernible flavor as such. But it just sort of feels like it's everywhere, kind of cloaking this dish. Oh. Un oh, wow. It's just wonderfully textured, kind of subtly flavored, but really gorgeous, um, kind of short grain rice. All right, I need to try like what this flap is. The French have this wonderful word that's called baveuse, which means like drooling, like texture. But what it refers to is that consistency inside like a properly made French omelet, where it's like a little bit kind of runny egg. It's like barely set. I'm wondering if this could be some version of an omu omelet where you've got um, barely set kind of custardy egg. Underneath, there seem to be what I'm kind of guessing is like a fried rice with seemingly some ham in there. I thought maybe I had a baby pea, but I could have just imagined it was there because I wanted it to be there. And the texture of the omelet, however, something that has been set and kind of rolled and then split open. And then maybe it gets an additional kind of sauce or topper on top of it. I think so much of the flavor is coming from the sauce in this dish. I'm almost wondering, like, could there be some of that sauce in the rice mixture? Yeah, so got like omu omelet with um, fried rice. Chef, have no idea. All right, so uh, I'm done with the dish and ready to make a shopping list. CM. <gasps> oh my God, did you see that? As a reward, novelty eye mask gently used. Do you see this with the CM? That's like class in a glass. Elements are fried rice, omelet, sauce. Maybe it's just that simple. Okay. Rice, I'm gonna say like maybe some onion, maybe some garlic. There's like ham. Does it make sense that it's ham? I don't know, but let's try it. I also, like, let's try some, like, chicken thigh, butter, omelet. I think we just need eggs. So that is the list. Somebody's gonna shop for me and I will have my first attempt. This does not seem like nearly enough stuff. <laughs> um, hey, Jesse, got a sec? Yes. Come on down. Jesse's. Hi. What's up? So I have a gift for you. Okay. No. This is the thing? You I wouldn't give me this if my foot were on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I 
this is kind of, it's funny because it's like giving me all of the things. It's like that we were kind of talking about that sort of like long cooked kind of meaty something, mm -hmm. but also like almost like cocktail sauce, mm -hmm. you know, like ketchup, bright, kind yes. of punchy. Yes. What a gift. <laughs> Appreciate that. So, um, you know, assuming this is some sort of like meat based gloss, um, you know, a concentrated, super concentrated sort of stock, um, I would have not been able to make this in a day. So I've been presented with this. Um, in its finished form, which is just stunning. So I think what we need to do is um, start thinking about rice. So I have cooked white rice um, that is cooked, cooled, and pleasantly separated. I'm gonna use ham for this version, but it is putting in the, me in the mind frame of feeling like chicken plus this sauce is gonna get you to a very flavorful place. I'm gonna cut garlic and onion. I'm just heating up that sauce a little bit so it's ready to go when we want it. So process on fried rice, a um, little neutral oil there. We're gonna do our some of our aromatics. Again, we're just throwing the uh, proverbial garlic at the wall, seeing what sticks here. So I'm gonna add the ham now. Not really looking to do much with the ham other than just kind of warm it up. It's, I don't think it's like meant to be like crispy here. So the trick is, you cook your rice, you let it cool uncovered, particularly in the fridge and ideally overnight. The grains are gonna be separate, distinct. So rice is going in. So we got a little bit of color on there. I think we've got like kind of crispy, chewy, jammy. We're just gonna do this. We're just gonna put some of this sauce in there. Here we go. So what's wild? It's because that friggin' sauce is so flavorful. Like, we just like literally went from like zero to hero here, you know? The thing that I feel good about this version of this rice is that there's just an overall depth of flavor, but that's not coming from a very obvious place. That's exactly what I got from the original. So I'm not, I'm not hating this. I'm gonna work on the egg. I don't know if there's butter in this omelet or not. I mean, I feel like there's gotta be something. Like, do I go for it like as if it were a French omelet? Or is there some other technique? So you've got some fat, usually butter, all right? You've got egg that's like agitated just enough to gently set what's ultimately gonna be the interior of the omelet. Then you set the outside so that you can roll it up and have a set out outside um, with no color on it and an interior that's like very custardy and just barely set, okay? So we need to get some rice on the plate and then we need to get the omelet on top of that and then open it up. Like kind of like that? Or was it like all the way open? Maybe it was all the way open? And this is where like... So just like a line of sauce on it. And there was like a little pool over in the corner. I don't know. And it feels like it's like desperately wants an herb or something, but. All right, Omu Omelette version one. I mean, I could be missing 10 ingredients and it would not surprise me at all. I'm gonna, for ingredients, I'd like give myself like a 65%. Technique is where I feel a little better. Omelette on fried rice, sauce, boom. Let's say like maybe 80 for technique. Appearance, I'd say, you know, probably maybe not looking so good just because, again, it feels like visually pretty incomplete to me. So I don't know. Again, like maybe it's like a 60. I don't know. I need to pay attention to the protein next time. It's like this is really giving me like ham. Flavor wise, maybe seven, like 70 percent. That brings me to a 69 overall, which honestly, I you know, I, I, I feel, I feel okay. So on this piece of paper are my actual scores. I'm gonna take a look and see where I need to improve. Hmm. So interesting, actual score overall, 75. Um, now ingredients, I'm at a 70. So, you know, I'm thinking that I'm a little bit off in terms of the rice and we need to make some adjustments there. Ultimately, this is like, a pretty simple dish, I think, you know, absent, you know, the sauce. So, um, 
you know, so maybe there's not a ton to kind of rethink here, but again, that next tasting, I think is gonna be pretty key. Oh, but there is sauce there. Okay, now we're back at sauce. All right, so last time I did the sauce like this, whereas I think the sauce needs to be going like this. Oh, there's parsley there. There's, you know, some parsley here that's gonna give us that kind of like that contrast and this that little notion of a finish to the dish. I'm trying to figure out if there's butter in here. I'm not really tasting it, to be honest. So this rice actually feels like it's been mounded in some way, almost like potentially even like molded onto the plate. So here's like our protein nubbin. I don't know, I was expecting something so different from this, but I really wanted there to be ham or something in there, but I think it's just chicken. It just tastes like it's been, you know, kind of knocked around in the skillet a little bit. Um, I think that's an edamame. Maybe that's the thing that I sort of mistook for a baby pea at one point in the first tasting. Yeah, nothing like that pronounced sharp intensity of garlic. So that's it for the second tasting. I'm moving on and I'm gonna make my final version of the dish. So much more confident coming off of this one. Ah, uh, uh, ah, uh, ah, So the plan is gonna be fill this with fried rice, okay? And then, you know, for the presentation of the omelet, have it drape open. I'm gonna start with the fried rice. Fried rice is gonna be pretty much the same thing. However, I'm substituting chicken thigh for ham, I'm removing the garlic, and I'm gonna be adding blanched edamame. I'm feeling like okay about this. I'm so freaked out by you guys giving me the sauce, frankly, I'm not sure I ever really recovered. I'm gonna throw in a very modest amount of onion here. I'd say we're ready to put in the rice. No garlic, edamame, and then the sauce. This iteration of the omelet, no butter, little bit of salt, just a little bit of salt, okay? It does occur to me that if you're looking to not aerate eggs, but you do want to mix them. It makes me think of, for fried rice, often I'll just use like chopsticks in the skillet, you know, wooden ones that aren't gonna scratch it up. That's probably the smarter play here. And it would be so like you guys, rather than to award me points for using a spatula signed by Carson Daly to in fact penalize me for using the incorrect tool. However, I've never made an omelet <laughs> with chopsticks, so this could get interesting. Hi. Stop. No. Oh my God, I gave you a rainbow spoon. You're giving me rainbow chopsticks? Oh my gosh, Jesse. Thank you. I really appreciate it. That's really cool of you. So the trick here, trying to lift up that edge, but we're doing okay. It did not roll though, which kind of sucks. All right. All right, we're back. We're back. Everything's cool. I'm so excited. Rainbow power. Version two, I'm gonna slice it open for presentation and then we're gonna sauce it up. Unfold, damn you. Uh, all right, this is version two. And honestly, I feel pretty good about it. Small changes, but let's bump it to 80. 80 for ingredients. There could have been a little bit of an order of operations thing happening with the rice, but technique, I wanna say like we're up at around like 85% now. Appearance, 90 for appearance parsley and the thing with the transverse and the axis and, you know, divide the two. I, I mean, yeah, I really, I don't know. I took some leaps here. No butter in the eggs. Tastes maybe 85%. 85 average, solid B. I, I mean, my gosh, if I actually got that, I would be so happy. All right, it, it's time to present this version to the judge. Jesse, we Hi, meet Chris. again. Yeah, how, um, how's your day been? It's, they're all journeys, Jesse. <laughs> Do you have a guess for the name of the chef and the dish? I, I don't know about the chef. I'm thinking it's called 
omu omelet with fried rice. May I present you Chef Motokichi Yukimura's omu rice. Omu rice. <gasps> Whoa, stop. Look at that. Oh my God. Uh. Huh. Wow. So that, that was the presentation that you couldn't see when you were blindfolded. I mean, the main thing I noticed was like that knife was a little bit longer than mine. Um, that was like my key takeaway, but otherwise like we're good here, right? <laughs> Did you do any treatment to your egg? No, I just, I just, you know, stirred it together and then light salt and that mm -hmm. was it. So there is a process to this egg. Uh, the process is that you have to whisk it very well and then you strain it through a fine sieve uh, to get rid of all the bubbles yeah. because the air bubble in it can affect how the eggs get heats up. Like the, the air parts will heat up faster than the protein. So it'll make the eggs cook faster. Oh, um, ingredients in the rice and the process to make it. So for the second round, you actually didn't add anything wrong to it. You took out to the everything. rice. Yes, to the rice, but you were still missing three ingredients. Oh wow! Yes, and those three ingredients are butter, just a touch of black pepper, and the last one is mushrooms. Mushrooms. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And in, in the second tasting, I got a piece of something that um, I realize now was the mushroom. It just felt like kind of something vaguely proteiny, maybe just like a sort of mutant piece of chicken. I don't know, but uh, totally missed that. Did not get mushroom flavor. All right, well, obviously we know the sauce is the same, but I still nonetheless am very curious to taste the differences between these two dishes. Original. Original first. First, great. Damn, that egg is... Uh, silky. So silky. Oh. All right, yeah. now my version. I think this one is like really letting the sauce do a lot of the talking, mm -hmm. you know, even more flavor wise. I would say overall, I think the like the structure of the dish is definitely there and you got like most of the ingredients right. So are you ready for the scores, Chris? I am ready. For the ingredients, mm -hmm. you gave yourself 80. Okay. Yep. I'm going to give you 92. Stop! You are not. Where's like <laughs> Jesse of like the Dan Dan noodles, like flipping plates, like smashing bowls. You, you, you did get most of the ingredients, right? I would say one major ingredient that you didn't get is the mushroom. Yeah. So like the totally. main like cut for the point was for that technique. You give yourself 85. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you 88. Treatment of the egg. Yeah, it's mostly on the treatment of the yeah. egg. So for appearance, you give yourself a 90. Mm -hmm. Whew. I'm going to give you <laughs> 83. Okay. And for taste, you gave yourself an 85. I would say it's a very um, texture heavy dish, which really relies on the egg. Mm hmm. So I'm going to give you 85. Okay. I can totally live with that. So overall, you give yourself 85. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give you 87. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> I mean, honestly, big picture, okay? To walk away with an 87, something like this. Like, I'll take it, you know? Even just like knowing one correct word to like, you know, kind of define this dish like that omu. I mean, this is so fun. And what I love about this is like, once you know that technique and you're familiar with it, you know, for the egg, I think it's like, it just kind of opens up a new world. Would you like to see the master makes it? I would love to. It's still so soupy at this stage. It's like kind of unbelievable. So it oh, kind of wow. rolls on itself. Oh, that's wild. Like encasing it like that. Yeah. So when it make it there, it's like a perfect consistency. Yeah. Gosh. Wow. Amazing. 